to HDB leases are a ticking time bomb. Many people think it's going to be a problem. This one is another ticking time bomb. It's a hot issue that our country is facing. So for the HDB lease, why is it a ticking time bomb? Because, you know, for any asset price, when the market has factored in the expectation, in this case, the asset is a permanent asset. And then now suddenly, uh, although according to all the uh, legal documents or that, yeah, no doubt it's a 99-year lease. But the, that is not the market expectation. The market expectation is that it is a permanent lease, a permanent asset. That is very uh, serious when you enter into the mechanics of asset pricing because the market has priced the asset as a permanent asset. So now the asset has come down a bit, our old flats, but it's holding up a bit because the government has come out to suggest some solution like the ver and all that. So but if eventually these solutions turn out to be not feasible, the whole thing is going to collapse. So there is a very serious financial and economic risk to this HDB lease problem. At the same time, it is also a very serious political problem because the politician have promised the Singaporean that it is a permanent asset. So it is a ticking time bomb, in my opinion, from both the economic and the political angle. To further elaborate on the economic angle is that, you know, like all the banks and the financial system is already geared to treating the lease as a permanent asset. So if really that the lease is confirmed to be not a permanent asset, then the banking system will also have to make a lot of adjustments. So I agree with what the panel results has come out, that this indeed is a ticking time bomb and it is going to be one of the very important issues that PSP recommend the government to come up with a solution as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. As we still have many inspirations to share with you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be up to date with what we are doing. You may also like to share this video with your family and friends so that we can stand together and help Singapore progress compassion.